Hi, welcome to the top 100 and welcome to this masterclass called Authenticity Wins. Really shortly, I'm going to introduce you to a practical video that explores five things you can do, five things to focus on to help you stand up and stand out during the top 100 journey. But before I do, myself and the team at Development Beyond Learning sit in a really privileged and unique position. We work with and talk to literally thousands and thousands of graduates every single year from more backgrounds, cultures, and working in more sectors than almost we can imagine. And that gives us some really interesting insight. It allows us to see through talking to those graduates, their employers, and through our ongoing research, what really makes the difference. So I've got together with a team and made some notes that I'd really love to share with you now to help you stand up and stand out throughout your top 100 journey. But it all comes down to this. Be confident in and be proud of who you are. Bring yourself to the top 100 and let the process take care of the rest. See more than ever Australian graduate employers, the organisations you hope to work for, are looking for more diverse graduate recruits. They're looking for more diversity in the cohorts that they bring in each year. Old moulds are being broken in some sectors and new talent is being brought through the door. So when you think about what makes you different, do not in your mindset let that rule you out. Instead, look at what makes you different and in your mindset, let that rule you in. Now that means whether you're uh, someone who grew up on a property uh, in regional Australia or maybe in the suburbs uh, of the country's biggest cities. It means that whether you uh, are next in a long line of university graduates in your family or maybe the first in your family to graduate university, congratulations. It means that whether English is your native language at home or whether English is your second language at home. It means that whether or not you are a female looking to enter a really male-dominated industry or the other way around, maybe you're a young male looking to enter into a female-dominated industry. It doesn't matter. These are the things that make you different. So be confident in and be proud of who you are. Uh, bring yourself to the top 100 process uh, and let that process take care of the rest. You see, just by applying, just by participating in this great initiative, you're already doing two things that are critical to your early career and ongoing career success. First of all, you're putting your name forward. In the top 100 journey, there are literally, literally tens of thousands of your peers around Australia who will be nowhere to be seen but you will be seen. You've put your name forward and you are making yourself known. Do not underestimate the value of what you have already done and the decision you've already made. It's fantastic. Second of all, the process is designed to develop you and to assess, I guess, your fit uh, into the top 100 in, in a number of different categories. You will develop and grow throughout the process if you are open to it. Uh, it's going to push you outside of your comfort zone, which is fantastic because it's outside of our comfort zone, not in it, that we grow and develop. And it's this that is critical to you becoming whoever it is that you want to become, uh, to have the, whatever career it is uh, that you want to have. So again, be confident in and be proud of who you are. Uh, bring yourself to the top 100 and let the process take care of the rest. The video you're about to watch has been handpicked from our suite of videos that, in, that graduate employers all over Australia and all over the world use to get their graduates thinking about the power of brand and the power of personal brand. It's going to explore five things that you can focus on now as you go through the top 100 journey uh, and then into the early stages of your career to help you stand up and stand out. Uh, and develop a brand and a reputation for yourself that's authentic, that allows you to be confident in and proud of yourself. So congratulations uh, on joining the Top 100 uh, initiative and process this year. Enjoy it and enjoy the video. Why has a toy company like Lego managed to stand the test of time and continue to be loved by children and adults alike? What's the secret to their success? Many will say it's in the power of their brand. A brand that is recognised and trusted around the world. A brand that is more than a name. It's the sum of a consumer's experience with a product, service or person. The power of brand is often underestimated. 
And it's also frustratingly hard for marketers and investors to define what the magic formula is that makes a brand successful. What they can do, though, is to study successful brands and try to uncover what makes those brands so powerful and enduring. Let's take a closer look at Lego. Lego was first conceived in the workshop of Ole Kirk Christensen, a Danish carpenter who was struggling to find local work to pay his bills. To earn an income, he began building wooden toys, starting with a wooden duck. This wooden duck later developed into an early wooden version of the now familiar plastic interlocking bricks. In 1932, Ole formed and named his company Lego, from the Danish word leggot, meaning play well. Despite a small dip in sales around 2003, Lego has largely never posted a loss since it was founded. To this day, Lego produces nearly 20 billion bricks a year. That's 36,000 per minute. So what's the secret to their longevity and success? Well, it's in the power of their brand, their promise of perceived value. Lego are clearly known for who they are, what they deliver, and how they deliver it. Let's break it down. 1. Lego's brand is authentic. Lego's roots have a large part to play in their brand. The history of how Lego was first created is used as a brand storytelling tool. People connect with stories. They are memorable. And in Lego's case, their story tells an authentic, family-orientated tale that people want to be part of. 2. Lego's brand is consistent. Despite being innovative and developing new products over time, when it comes to who they are and what they deliver, their values have remained the same. Lego described their mission as inspire and develop the builders of tomorrow. Our ultimate purpose is to inspire and develop children to think creatively, reason systematically, and release their potential to shape their own future, experiencing the endless human possibility. Lego described their vision as inventing the future of play. We want to pioneer new ways of playing, play materials, and the business models of play, leveraging globalization and digitalization. It's not just about products, it's about realizing the human possibility. Three, Lego's brand is visible. They engage with their consumers and their marketing and events are cleverly aimed at their audience, not just children, but adults too. Four, Lego's brand is reliable. They have consistent physical branding. Their logo has barely morphed since it was properly established in the 1950s. Their products have undergone extensive development over the years, but the foundation remains the traditional Lego brick. Five, Lego's brand is resilient. It has endured through decades of change for almost 80 years. It grew from a small carpenter's workshop to a modern global enterprise that is now one of the world's largest manufacturers of toys. So what can you learn from this? Brand has the power to create connections, build relationships, and maintain loyalty. Whether promoting a product, a service, or even yourself, to be successful, a brand should be authentic, consistent, visible, reliable, resilient. What does your brand say about you?